All right, take two. This time I won't be an idiot. What's up? I was sitting here for 20 minutes streaming on a private stream to myself. Uh, no. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. True professional. Cream of the crop. I can't see chat. Pop out chat. Thanks. Got it. Awesome. Fantastic. Now I can see it. What's going on? How we doing? I was out here. It was it was a mess. It was it was a mess. It was definitely a mess. Oh, I started a stream for some reason it was on private. It wouldn't let me put it to public even after I even after <laughs> I tried to fix it. Shut up, Paimon. Thank you. I know I I've been busy, right? Been busy. How you guys been doing? I've been doing I've been doing good, man. Had a friend come in from out of town, had some fun. He was here, you know, across the weekend. That was cool. Um mom went to the hospital randomly for kidney stone surgery. That was wild at 3 a.m. And dealing with that stuff. She's good now. Back home. So I just been having the run of the mill, dude. The pluses and the minuses the same time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to stream today anyway. Uh, but we'll do, you know, we'll have some good stuff. We'll have some good times. We'll, we'll go get like one OP artifact. Yeah, she's fine, man. She's fine. She's fine now for sure. Um, but it was just kind of random, you know, getting a phone call at like 3 a.m. Oh, we're going to the hospital. I was like, what? For what? What's going on, Brandon? Oh, we're chilling. We're having a good time, man. Uh, we got some of these to open. I don't know how, how into the Magic the Gathering you guys are, but I'm opening those up. We'll do those on stream. If you're into that stuff, sweet. If not, sweet. If you're a gotcha gamer, hey, man, these are these are, these are a pretty penny. We got some. I'm getting more tomorrow, too. So we're going to open some of those up, see what we get there. Um, cool product. Fantastic. Overpriced product. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool stuff. Cool stuff for sure. Got a whole setup here. Got a little secondary cam. Ready to rock and roll. What is this daily over here? Is this like the spy on the dudes daily? Or no, it's the little girl daily. Flora. Don't touch Flora, dude. Just just talk to her. Just talk to her. What's going on, Skr Skr? Skr Skr? Yeah, dude. Skr Skr. Something to matter? Ah, oh, dude. I don't know what to do, man. I need to farm Viridescent stuff, but my luck for Viridescent is terrible. Am I going to pull for any of the new characters? I don't think so, man. I don't think I'm pulling for any of them. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to be spending money on Genshin Impact anymore. I'm not even buying the, the battle passes anymore. And it's just because, like, I have way too much, man. I have so much stuff. And there's, like, no incentivization for me to pull for more stuff. So that's just how it is, man. Yo, welcome. Thanks for discovering the channel. Glad that you uh like what you, uh, what you like there. And what was I going to do? Oh, right. Like, why does it just auto auto pick your next daily? Can we get that? Like when you're doing when you're in daily mode, it just show, shows them to you. I don't got to open up quests four times. I know it's very nitpicky, but can we get that in there? Mahoyo? It'd be awesome. Be fantastic. But no, I'm not I'm not pulling for any of the new characters. Not that I think they're bad or anything. Um, I think each of them has their use. I know I get I dog on co I, people say I dog on him. I'm just saying that he's I'm not saying that he's weak. I'm not saying that he's overpowered. I'm just saying that for that sort of role, you might already have a character that can fulfill a very similar effect. Now, if you don't have that and you need a character like that, yeah, dude, go for him. Fantastic. What am I doing? I'm going down? I'm going up? I'm going down? Oh, go up, down? Left, right, center? Front? Oh my God. Oh, it's it's literally where I was. Literally where I was. It's on the opposite. What do I do? What? Huh? Look, bruh. I'm, I'm, I'm here. What is this daily? Wait. I can't. Is it like below it or something? Oh my God, it is. I got bamboozled. I remember getting bamboozled the first time I did this. This is like the second time I've ever done this daily. Yeah, I got bamboozled, bro. Huh. 
Yeah, I can't wait to delve into the 1.6 stuff. I heard it's pretty good. I heard it's pretty good. You guys have been having fun with 1.6? I literally haven't. I've gotten like cutscene mode. That's how much Genshin Impact time I've had to do. It's cutscene mode for the intro of 1.6 and um, my dailies every day. That's it. Yeah, there are some nice stuff on his banner for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, no, he's got he's got some cool stuff on his banner. And like most characters usually have good four star. It's very hard to come by a banner. It's like, ah, oh, the four stars in this banner are pretty bad. Like there's a lot of stuff that's very good. Like characters can be used in a lot of different ways. You know, like a lot of people will dog on like Beto or Sucrose or whoever. I miss that horribly. The bot, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the with the samurai dude, whatever his name is, I'm just gonna call him Samurai Man. Although I guess that could also I could be talking about Kaza as well. Smack my second camera. What am I like the mailman from Legend of Zelda right now, dude? Like, what is happening here? I don't even know if she's got gear on, bro. Uh, can't. Bro, this number is literally V61901171500000. Get the f off my phone. Like, hello? What's going on? How you doing? Focus up, dude. Unbelievable. How dare V9? What? Something. You sound like you're a high performance car, not a phone number all right back up to monset we go back up to monset we go yeah so then we're gonna have inazuma coming out soon and genshin really needs that that freshness right they lost a lot of players in one point one point three and four um maybe deservedly so i mean i wasn't really all in on 1.3 1.3 is really theater mechanicus uh the patch I have not done the new abyss yet. No, I have. I've been uh, super busy all week. Um, I've I've done videos and had some friends come in from out of town, and then uh, my mom was in the hospital. Uh, so, crit damage, yeah, dude, crit damage. See, I don't get that. So, like, that's just me, right? I say crit. What I say, crit hit rate. Because what is it in this game? Crit rate and crit damage. I say crit hit rate and crit hit damage. I think that's from Diablo three or something. World of Warcraft. I'm not sure, man. I forget what game it was. Have you quit the game completely? Uh, I haven't actually logged in this week, but I like log in and look at stuff. I look at the Reddit and peruse stuff, but I haven't like, I'm not like super actively like hyped on it right now. I know like that's dude, that's my biggest thing with Mahoyo. They'll put all this work in for like new bosses, stuff for time limited events, right? And then like they go away. It's like, bro, just add it to the game, man. Make it a thing. You work on all these assets and then you just yeet them off into the the stratosphere. You know, you just yeet them out there. I don't get it. I don't understand it. it kind of ir irks me a little bit. The throne is empty yeah man dude ffb is the game that i i want to love the most but like it's just it's just not it's just not gonna be that game especially with like the way jp's doing so uh, uh, uh. why is it always 36 minutes man okay why are you so slow bro okay you're the slowest why is he so slow but yeah, dude, they could take like all the, all the, dude, I'm hoping that they're putting all these assets and bosses and stuff like, and just do like a deep dungeon or do like something that's got replayability, man. Like six months out, right? It's seven months now, right? Is it seven? It's more than that. Eight. It's like eight months now. Which, so we're, all, we're approaching year anniversary, right? In four months for this game. And Abyss is still the only repeatable end game thing in the game i know they update and stuff but like man come on you gotta have yeah you gotta have dude i have to have something bro you, right and you're working all these assets for monsters and bosses and stuff dude throw in like an infinite dungeon with that's multiplayer or something throw in like a, a, a raid or something i don't know man 
there's answers that are better than nothing you know that's my whole dog on it and i think other people are kind of like that too right now so i need to do viridus and v v v v v venerer right my, my venerer set is so bad i don't even like nice free rewards would be cool but i want content i want i want content to be able to do in uh it, it, make the world not dead again that's what i'm hoping inazuma is big right because that was the first thing that made people it made me fall in love I, I can't speak for everyone but with genshin it's a big open world i remember being in discord hanging out with like 10 people partying up in like three three or four parties walking around going, what is this what is that what is this how does this what is this what is that you know i think it needs both tinker but yeah for sure random grind event 300 primos oh please don't do it please please don't do it is this v9 100 uh, leaving me a dm here oh no all right bro i'm gonna throw my phone i'm gonna throw my phone out i'm done one million gems gave us 108 on fort on fort oh hey you Where are you? Uh, apparently right here. I found you. Well, I'll get absolutely butchered, bro. Oh no, I fat fingered it. I know like Honkai's got, yeah, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't understand. Why are my characters damaged? No one in this team ever takes damage. I look like a freaking fantasy star online character right now. Look at all this shit all over me. I got my whatever they're called in fantasy star online. Little dude, floating ass flower. 17 lightning shields and a and a, and a lightning dragon flying around me. I don't understand what's going on. But yeah, dude, I fuck, man. Mm -hmm. Zongli moment for real. No. No. Do I, do I have like a, ooh, still not worth. Yeah, Honkai's not new, I know. Yeah, that's why we're saying like, like we're approaching one year, right? One point and 1.3 is just like, I know they had to take a break. You can't work forever, right? 1.3 is definitely like, you could tell they are letting their, letting their fucking employees breathe, basically. Hype team, dude, I love the, I love this team. Do it. You won't do it. Gotcha. Oh, he was already dead. <laughs> he already died. I don't even care, bro. You do whatever you want to do. All right, you're dead. Bye. I don't even care. Do whatever you need to do. I'm just going to beat. This is my new beat face team. Just close your eyes. It's like Noel 2.0, but physical. Did he like not take damage on that first hit? I feel like he like John seated me. The teapot? Yeah. Yeah, the teapot was something that you definitely wanted to do just for the weekly rewards, right? So you could buy like the the free mora, the extra little bit of energy. But after that, like it was only like a thing that you do afterwards if you if you want to make a cool looking place. Hot damn. Well, that's the wrong kind of goblet, but we, t we take these. Is that it's I mean, it's almost minimum crit damage roll. I think it's I think what is it? 3.7, 3.6 or something is crit rate subset. Walk around in it. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. Hey, we get we get a spicy one every once in a while. Every once in a while. that spice I literally don't know where he is oh there you are oh I'm on cooldown okay all right dude okay bro you out you you're outdoing me dude you're out maneuvering me I'm super killing you though bros for real all right you know what you can die yeah that's what I thought bye peace yeah come on 
Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, I didn't crit. For real? All that? All those come ons and I don't crit? God damn it. Oh, we're just trying to get some Veer Destin set, man. You're about to play and now, you, now you're here instead. Oh. Do I play Magic the Gathering Arena? I haven't played Arena in uh, a long while. When did I get this? I, I don't. When did that happen? It must have been from like a. Oh, whatever, fool. Cool. Spiffy. Uh, artifacts. I'm maxed on art. God damn. I haven't played Arena since they banned the whatever a bajillion cards in standard for the fifth time and I gave up on standard. Basically. Um. Well, holy poop. I guess we need to do something with our artifact situation. I guess. I just want to play the game, man. I'm getting hit by artifact. This is how many this is how many artifacts I farm. It's also why like my artifact quality for most things is pretty all right. But my characters are all really fucking low level unless unless you're like my mains. That's the real thing on this account. Where is the dude for real? Give me Viridus and Venera set right here right now. Let's let's level up. Yeah, <laughs> I could never I can never find ones that don't suck. Like this is usually what my what my flowers look like. This one, this one's pretty good though. I mean, I don't really see how this goes wrong. So let's just max it, huh? Let's just max it on up, dude. Max it up. A times two. Do we want we want elemental mastery here? Okay. Well, we we don't want to ever hit defense ever again. Is what we want to do. All right. Some of our, I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't summon for Euless Claymore. I think I got it from like um, just the off banner one or whatever. All right, what that that's a really low roll. What did I get? 2.7? Ooh. Unga bleh. Hey, but you know what? It's way better than anything else I have. You're dorm room in Honkai? See, I haven't played Honkai. I heard a lot of people do like it though. And um I've researched bare minimum of what someone could research a game and that they don't really understand does. Um, and it seems like they have a lot of events. Heck yeah, a lot of events. Uh, and concurrent events and like a lot of permanent end game things for you guys to do. That's true phone. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at now, right? Or it's like I I've spent quite a bit on this game. A lot of it so I could do content for it, but that content always seems to do really bad, right? Like I'll get like a C6 character, make a video on it and do like C0 through C6 and go hit things for like with you. Like I hit someone for how much? And just like a freeze, like in her generic, just brute team, not trying to do anything wonky with it, not trying to max damage numbers on a on a on a realm level. Damn, that's a lot of crits on like a, you know, an AR1 area. We hit them for like, I think we hit like one of them Geo Bishops for like 1.3 mil or something stupid. Um, no, but no one cares. Everyone, everyone cares about the four star characters, honestly, and rightfully so. It's easier to get a four star character um, for sure. And they're all good. They're all good. 100%. If we hit crit rate again, I'm just going to end the stream. I'm just, I'm just going to end it. I'm just going to have to. FF14. Dude, FF14. Oh, I'm going to be back, dude. I'm going to be back when the expansion comes out. You better believe it. All right. Now, bets on we hit defense here. How many bets? Hmm? Are we going to hit defense? I'm not I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Right. We're, we we hit 20. We got hit 20. Here, dude, if we hit. Oh, my God. That's actually really nice for like an EM build. You don't have any EM on it, but you have a ton of crit rate. Yeah, the national team is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to be doing um, some videos on those. Uh, I think I actually have. Aristocratic etiquette is all just for show. Oh, yeah. I actually have that team up. Oh yeah, end stream. Shit, I gotta end the stream now. <laughs> I forgot. No, don't go away. No, we're not. We're not ending the stream. Um, yeah, that team's amazing. And I was talking about that team too for like if you guys are big in on Ayaka and you want a team, you should, this is the team right here. You just take Chong Yun out, and you throw Ayaka in, and Shang Ling's just there for Pyronado and Guoba, and then you just do all your damage with Ayaka. It's a 
fantastic team to just slot her in. Sure, it is a top tier team. It'd be like National Team 2.0 with a five star. Um, fan fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, I love Eula. Eula's cool. We got super lucky. We did we did spend on Eula banner, but nowhere near what we needed to spend to get C6. It was wild. We bannered after. We went over and over and over and over and over. Papega, dude, don't papega me, man. She's 90, so I need to level up my other characters, though. Oh, I don't want this. It's easy to see in party. Quaddy setup. And it was another game made by the same company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to level... I'm not leveling Klee. She's staying there forever. Um, I need to level Venti. I need to actually work on work on. He's going to be my next thing that I work on. Um, I, I've had him since he came out on his first banner. I just left him at 70. I've never, I've never been able to, uh, Eula, yeah, Eula is pretty boring to play. Um, but if you enjoy just like the Noel gameplay style, you just beat face. She's pretty good at it. She's pretty good at it. Um, she's also, she's also boring to play because she's so easy to play. Like, like her, her attack string combo, assuming you don't have attack speed buffs or anything. It literally weaves right into her E, her press E, right? Straight up. So by the time you get through this again, it's literally exact enough to just go again. So like it's she's super easy to play. Um, even her content's boring. Yeah, dude. Just, yeah, she, it, that story was kind of boring. So she is um, a simple man's character, but she beats face really well. And we like beating face around here for sure. And then I walked away from the artifacts that we're trying to get. But hey, yeah, that's how I have her built too. this team right here. The Bruiser Squad, very strong, very strong Bruiser Squad. Queen Zong Lee Shield, Albedo, as well as an off DPS, off the field DPS. And then we have um, Albedo on. I made a video about this team, Tenacity. So she gets 30 shield strength there. She gets 15 more shield strength because double Geo. Zong Lee Shield, I think, also gives shield strength when you get hit. She gives herself defense up and she's using. <laughs> This sword which also gives shield strength so right now she has 35 and she gets another she gets another 30 from tenacity which is always up so she has 65 percent shield strength on a giant zong lee shield yomi yomi's gonna be cool i mean she's a damage dealer she's gonna be she's gonna fulfill and play you know kind of she, she's gonna be most compared to hu tao um, but she's gonna be able to do other things that Hu Tao can't allow you to do, right? She, you can pair her with Fischl very well in like an overload build if you have a C6 Fischl, because every time she attacks with her Pyro Arrow, Oz is gonna attack with a Lightning Attack and you're gonna be able to do overload damage. And I've seen people do like 50, 60K hits between the two of them with overload just over and over and over during her thing. Um, there's also been talks about um, running her around with... Um, child because they actually play really well together whoops just keep smacking the secondary camera um because her melee melee we'll call it a melee stance but it's her normal attack stance lasts 10 seconds which works very well with going in and out of um a c0 child's um melee stance from his elemental skill as well so their elemental skills play very well together the rust yeah and you get the rust on her exactly yeah you get the rust you guys aren't even alive bro why are you still talking your body's already vaporized you only need one dong lee dude you just z zero him good to go easy mode yeah i have i have a uh, hutao too did i ever take my hutao to 90 i'm not sure if i did or not boy Hey, you know what? It's got no crit chance on it, but it can roll into it. I don't care. That's what we want. That's the st Do you know how hard that is to get? What? What is? Isn't it like a three percent or drop rate for an EM goblet? I remember doing the video on that. I don't remember. I think it's like two and a half or three percent to get an EM goblet, and it's got crit damage on it. And we don't really hate uh, energy recharge either. So yes, sir. I will pick that up. Don't pull, you're gonna get Klee. Yeah, don't. Unless you really like Klee. 
Why did my character just get shoved over? Did you guys see that? That was a little weird. No, no, they're right here. We haven't done them yet. We haven't done them yet. I'm kind of itching to do them too. Itching hard. Thanks, boss. What a... Yep, I see you, bro. How about you freeze, bro? You freeze. Get absolutely whammied. Ooh, we pulled it off. The super slam. It's, I wish they would do that for Albedo. Please, like, make it so, like, monsters don't interact with this. Let me drop this underneath a monster's feet, and they'll just stand there, and I can just ride it up like that. It's so hard to use it in combat on purpose because monsters want to move forwards to you. Right? If you're fighting, like, a big monster, like a, what are the Millitrills? Never happening. They're just going to walk right up to you, and you're like, oh, my God. Wow. Man, we don't want no maidens. I think the most interesting character will probably actually be the Electro character, Ball. Because they're supposed to be a support. Um... And if you look at the Electro uh, Inazuma version of the main character, they're all about being a giant energy battery for your whole team. And if you compare the main character's element to job things, right? Like the animal one and the geo one we have, they're very similar in some ways, not, not in all ways, but like the animal one wants to swirl and wears the animal set like Venti does, very similar to Venti. Doesn't do the exact same things as Venti, but it's like a, you know, Re reject venti right uh zongli has pillars and literally summons this giant rock well the you know the geo mc does that but he doesn't have shields or anything um so with with a ball supposed to be a a support i don't know man that could be popping off don't don't do it don't do it oh the music stopped come on youtube oh thank you for showing up bro Yeah, the the MCs are always like a mini mini archon, bro. I was changing the music, the music. I was changing the music. Like how much? Um. Yeah. So, just ninety shield strength right now, and this is from. Also, a little not really known thing. People forget about it. This thing. Resonant waves isn't just for him. It's for his. It's for his shield. It's for his shield. So yeah, like this character right now, chilling out. Thirteen hundred defense. Thirty three hundred attack. And ninety percent shield strength. Just walking around, dude. Just doing whatever they want to be doing. Chilling out, hanging out, having fun. Doing whatever. Yeah, I'll probably bull for ball too. I don't think I'm gonna pull for any of these characters. I don't I don't need I don't need an animal support. I don't need a pyro DPS. I don't need um what's the other one? Oh my god, I brain farted. Thinking about modern horizons too. Ugh! Oh, I'm brain farting because I was thinking of the animal claymore character, Sayu, but that's a that's the that's a four star. Oh, Ayaka, Ayaka, Ayaka. I couldn't think of Ayaka because Ayaka's so old. <laughs> she was in the beta. I was like, who's the new character? Ayaka, duh. Punishing physical damage dealers? Hmm. I heard that too. But at the same time, most things that we have right now are punishing to physical damage dealers. A lot of the a lot of the monsters, like the a lot of the taller or bigger monsters, they all have like 60% fizz resist. Don't care. Between Superconduct and Physical Down, like, so this team right here, we have Superconduct, that's 40%. Yula has 25 of her own, so you're looking at 65%. And then you also have Zhongli Shield, so you have 85% Physical Down right now in this bulky team. So if you have an 85% Fizz Resist monster, they just don't have any. Just take it all away. Just goodbye. And if they have zero, then you reduce their their defense, uh, that's their defense, but their Fizz Resist to, what, negative 40 Two and a half or something something wonky like that 
Yeah, I don't really... I think she's going to be kind of weak, too, honestly. She's going to be cute and roly polies and stuff, but... um, I... I Claymore, she rolls... She's like an Animo DPS character. So Animo DPS characters suffer the most because they don't have any way to really buff up their damage. You know? Like other characters. They don't have the ease of access. Like, you can do it, right? You can get Animo Resist down. If you run, like, C6 version of the Traveler, C6 Venti, was it, like, C4 Gene? Well, that's it, right? You can't wear Viridus and Venera set and swirl Animo because Animo can't be swirled. Um, can't be buffed by... Um, oh, I guess you can do Zong Lee Shield. That's about it. It's the one thing. Um, I missed. Bro, why you gotta be like this? What did I get hit by that damaged me? Rip, rip. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna fight, bro? Get the. Get out of here, my dude. Sayu and Yomiya are uninteresting. Yeah. Yomiya is probably like... Uh, she's unique because, you know, if you want her to be your main DPS, there's going to be a a point in time where like, oh, my E's worn off. Oof. You know? Uh, Sayu... I don't, I don't think Sayu... I mean, Sayu wants to roll around for a while and then hit someone with their, their milk tank rollout and then she like, doesn't really do a whole lot. That's it. Um, but yeah, she heals and stuff. She's like uh, she's like Animal Bennett that wishes she could be Bennett, basically. Um, more or less. I guess she can wear... She won't be that good at it, though. Like, I don't... Yeah, I don't know what she does. <laughs> Wish Jean? Yeah, dude, Jean... Jean's weird. Jean and Chi Chi are strange. I Jean and Chi Chi, because I'm going to make a tier list video, actually, and I'm going to rate them pretty freaking low outside of one thing. So Jean and Chi Chi would be much more beloved and valued characters if multiplayer mattered more, because the way Jean and Chi Chi are designed is you build them for attack so they can do pretty good damage, right? But they're also your healer. But you don't need to do it. You don't need to have a healer in single player that does damage. You already have your damage dealer, right? So that's that's Jean and Chi Chi's biggest weakness is that like you can just build anyone you just use shields you don't need to what is with all this maidens crap bro I'm done bro I'm out of here um looks similar to Hu Tao yeah she's a little different though because she puts on that little pyro debuff um and she also has a nice overload build with Fischl so those are two things that she has access to now I'm not saying like oh if you already have Hu Tao you need her too no you don't really need there's only like there's only like two characters in Genshin Impact that you need. This guy and and this kind of guy. All right. So Bao probably will follow suit. I mean, so far those characters have been the best characters, hands down. You don't agree, Jean being like that? That's cool. Yeah. I mean, she's scaled off attack percent though, right? So like her her specialty shtick is that like you can do damage with Jean, but you like no don't need to do that. Let's use a different team. Let's. Is anyone on this team even geared up? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. I'll probably can get my ass beat. Oh yeah, no, I'm just I'm just saying, like, that's her stuff, is she could do damage and heal. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that like she does her role well, but you can use like any healer in the game to heal. You don't need a damage dealing healer. However, if you're in multiplayer, right? Do I want do I want a gene on my team if we're in like some multiplayer dungeon, or do I want Barbara? I want Jean, because Barbara's probably not going to do all that much damage. Either she's going to do damage, but she's not going to heal because her heal scale off HP, where Jean can just stack attack, heal, and can contribute way more damage than like something like a Barbara would, um, sort of thing. Uh, I don't have all my stuff. RIP. Cool, dude. We got him. Can I get the reset, please? Thanks, bro. Don't kill him. Don't do it. Oh, my all ended. Rip. I don't have the gear on these. I think some of these characters are naked. I think some of them are naked, boys. We're having a problem. Got naked characters. 
No, I'm no my my sword is frozen. Get absolutely destroyed, bro. Yeah, not not bad for naked team. I think I think I think uh, Shingling might be. Yeah, she's got gear on. What what are, what are her stats? Oh, nice. Whopping 89 crit damage. Freaking fantastic, bro. Wild. Wild, bro. Wild. Absolutely wild. Didn't see that one coming. That is Jean's one shtick. She can yeet people into the air in, in Abyss and hit them for like half their life, which is funny. All right. Let's, um... Let's get that other Venti artifact and let's see how it rolls. It was a goblet, right? It was an EM Poggers Viridescent Goblet. It wasn't really Poggers, but not the worst. Are there any other EM mains? This one's kind of cool. Oh, this is substat. Oh, okay. well, let's just use this one. Hey, max crit damage roll. You never know, man. You never know. You think Bennett's the worst character in the game? Oh, you mean like most? You mean worse as in like he's he's too oh he's too good? Yeah. You're not wrong. He's he's very strong. I think that they should think about that, yeah. Yeah, I think that they should definitely think about being able to let you turn off certain constellations, especially ones that imbue you. Um, but it's not the end of the world if you're running um, the national team because you just like pop your you pop your uh, your alt on Xing, uh, Xingling and just walk out of the walk out of the Bennett alt. Bro, we out here getting energy recharge. Okay. Yeah, Bennett's very strong. It's kind of funny though that like. So many people dogged on Bennett early on. Dogged on him. Dogged on him, bro. Absolutely dogged on him. Um, I don't use him that much. Oh, gross. Uh, anymore? Cause I don't really, I don't really have a lot of pyro teams. And if I do run a pyro team, it's with Hu Tao, and that's a Nambo. Um, but he is very strong. I stopped using him because I'd put his ult down and the way that they've been designing the abyss, I'd put his ult down and then I'd have to run to the other side of the freaking map. And so like, ugh. Well, that's a terrible goblet. Didn't even roll crit damage one time, but you know what? Hey, dude, you know, sometimes you just do what you got to do. Um, swirl it up. What is he wearing right now? What is this? Why would I care about that? Whatever, dude, swap, swap that one. There you go. Fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. How many veer? Dude, I have like no veer death inventor. Oh, that's garbage. I already got that one ready to go. No, couldn't get it. All right. Well, that's also poop. Fantastic, dude. We know exactly what to do here. Oh, sure. Hey, he does got the stringless though. Yeah, they made a big oopsie there about him for sure. Um you can get you can get uh things each week in the uh the teacup house at a certain rank you can buy them you can buy them from the store i don't know how much that helps you yeah look my bennett he ain't turned on oh yeah bennett was missing gear too big gross um, bum, bum. Bounce makes future characters do more damage for real, dude. But that's the thing. Like, even if they did that, like, why do I care? What, what am I going to miss out on? Like doing floor 12 of the abyss in five years for 30 Primo gems. Like, like that them not having end game content that entices people to want to play the game is also kind of screwing them up when it comes to getting people to pull for characters. Like, why do I need a new character if all I do is let's say they power creep abyss into the moon where I need to pull for a new five star character every month. Like have to, to beat floor 11 and 12 because eight and nine are super or nine and 10, excuse me, are super simple. So let's say if I don't have the brand new character, the only thing I'm missing out on is like the what 30 Primo gems or 90 Primo gems for those two floors. 
whatever, bro. I'll keep my five hundred dollars. Thanks. Like, bye. You know, that's how I feel anyway. Definitely. All right. Um, where is mm, Carmen San Diego? Hello, 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 hello. All right. Oh, I might be doing, you know, I might try like doing an account review thing. So if you're not in the Discord, I'm going to open up, I'm going to make something tonight for reviewing accounts. And um, it's just going to be super simple. If you want, if you want to participate, you want to have it in there, uh, there'll be a place where you put down, like, obviously your name, uh, your AR, um, how much, not, and I don't want how much money you spent, but like, you know, if you've spent nothing, you're super free to play, put that in there. If you're a giant, magnificent whale, put that in there. Um, if you just only buy battle passes, put that in there. And then, um, server, whether you're EU or CN or US or whatever. And I can't, I can't review PS4 accounts. So that's the thing as well. So that's something, if you're interested in there, I might try that out. If they do well on the channel, uh, then I'll, you know, I'll do more for sure. Or we can do them on stream sometimes too. Um, so let's get in here. I don't know how to change anything out here. Is there a way? Can I change this to something else? Bum, bum. There's nothing in here. Yeah, I'm just going to put this in here, dude. Shut up, Paimon. You've lived too long. All right. That's a little, that's a little rude. Now I'm going to have two different ones. I'll have this one, this, which is a big me, little hand, you know, big me, little hand. And then I'll have, um, this one, which is little me, big hand. All right. With this weird playmate, I got out of GP somewhat someday. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Cool. Capiche, capiche. All right. Oh, well, me moving that over there. That's going to hurt. And then I got my booms. Um, here's the product packaged up wasn't supposed to come until tuesday but it showed up today and i'm gonna have two more of these i think tomorrow broaden my horizons dude i don't want to broaden my horizons should have should have brought a knife got it we did it we did it boys all right dude aren't we so good aren't we so good all right uh, I should have emptied the trash before I did this, huh? How do I do this? Dude, do you know the last time I've opened sealed product for magic? Like, when I was born, oh, it probably just slides. Probably just slides on open there. All right, cool. Spiffers, bro. Spiffers. All right. 12 Pacarinos. 12 big Pacarinos. Probably should do this, too. Well, let's see what we get, dude. Let's make sure we got actually 12. Oh, we did. Look at that. Didn't actually mess with us. All right. Uh, I don't know what card this is supposed to be in this set. This looks like some Ikoria stuff. I don't even understand, but all right, we'll go with that. Oh, baby, dude. Got the legendary bird token and a treasure. Dude, this means that our pack's good, right? We got a treasure token. I believe that's what that means. All right, so we got some shamans here. Make sure that nothing's all messed up. No, the bridge arena, cool. The grace, all right. I'll put the commons up in this area. Put the uncommons here. Got the edgy land. Hey, dude, right away, dude. Fetch land, all right. Full art, neato, petito. All right, let's put this. Uh, let's put this over here somewhere. That's dope. We like that. We like to see those. Rakdos Headliner in Rise and Shine. Not hot on this card. Um, so I'll do uncommons and rares of this. The Road to Ruin. Uh, foil. Chitter Chatter. Big Chitter Chatter. Big Chitter Chatter Storm. Galvanic Relay. Ooh, Old Border Etch Dock Hand. I can get behind that. I can get behind that for sure. Necrogoyf, not so hot on though. Not so hot on then our, our lovely dovely bird, of course. Is this a foil? Foil gopher, gopher, gopher. Foil gopher, dude. 
Nice. Ugh. Yeah, I, I've seen some weird ones on YouTube where they'll get like double land instead of the, the rare or something. Which what? Oh, I won't say what was our rare. It was, it was Chet, it was Chetachomes. Chetachomes was our rare. All right, I'll put this one up there. That's uh pretty nice actually for first pack. I like that. I like it. I like it. All right, so we got the legendary crab and a squirrel, of course. Sweet. All right, bridge arena, late to dinner. Soul snare's pretty cool. Soul Snare's pretty cool. Constable, too expensive. Got the $400 planes. Uh, all those people are super sad now. Glimpse is pretty all right. This is one of my favorite arts in the whole set. This dude is just big, freaking chilling. Now oh, the camera not doing, camera don't like the close up. Heck, dude, Urza Saga, right away. Dude, we're saga in. Oh, with the, yes, sir. We take those. Yearling sketch. Frickin' Dread Maul, bro. Frickin' Dread Maul. All right. Yavamaya Elder. Or we're gonna run out of space for all this. Yo! Is this foil or etch? I think that's etched. I'm so bad at distinguishing between the two. Especially, I think that's. I can't tell. Is that. I. I can't tell. But hot damn, is that good? And? Oh no, this is foil. Because the name. This is a foil void walker. I I don't that's weird. Wait, why did the No. I dude, I gotta I gotta mess up. This one etched. This one's foil. I'm so bad, dude. I'm so bad. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me at all. This card is pog. Pog good. Very pog. This card, I don't know. Someone will do something with it, I'm sure. I'm sure someone will do something with this card. Who is it and what will they do? No idea. But they'll do something with it. They'll do something with it. Also, Urza Saga going to get banned. Going to get absolutely banned out of the format. So two packs in. And uh, I'm going to have to go clean my shorts real quick. You know, I'll have to change some clothes, change my pants. Wow, 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 wow. Like, actually hot damn wow. All right. Big thippity thop. Get a clue. All right, dude. Let's get a clue. Let's get a clue. Got the the legendary lightning sphere, charger, Dahada's ploy. This could be a cool card. Um, I'm not sure. Um, this reminds me of an old card that was like whenever you casted any non-creature spell, you made a thopter. Trap runner not doing a whole lot. Tide shaper is cool. Tide shaper is really cool. I'm actually gonna put him in a sleeve, bro. In a sleeve. He gets his own little sleeve. Yeah, Tide Shaper, that's cool. That's a good uncommon. All right, got the Mountain, as always. Timeless Dragon, man. What can you say, dude? Big sad days. Jade Avenger, flying out from the Chub Toad door. Solitude, looking pretty fine here. Looking pretty fine here. Soul Herder. Now this card, oh, that, we saw the moderation already, GG. Solitude looking looking good though. This card, I th I think I don't know. People like want that card for some reason. I don't know what that is, man. I don't I don't know. Late to dinner, dude. That's me every day. Seal of cleansing, kind of neato, kind of neato. All right, all right. I do I not? Oh, here it is. Seal of cleansing is pretty neat. Ooh, I do like this. The presence etched. Wait, it's kind of. A duck. You see that? What is this? What is the stuff here on this card? Yeah, right, like right here. It's like, it's like, it's like extra foily. I don't know. It's like they etched it, but like it up. And then moderation. That is strange to me. I don't know what that's about. Huh. That's very strange. Put your butt down there. Let's put these in here. Just the just the cool ones. Just the just the cool ones. And I do love like this art, dude. This art is so 
so sweet. That's that good art. That's that runner runner art. All right. Moderation, move your butt down here. Soul herder. Whatever, dude. You'll get one too. All right. Just for you. Refund time. Yeah, that ain't happening. Thankfully, it was on an Enchantress's presence and not another card. So what is that? Three packs in. Wow. Yeah, I think it's a pretty narrow for sure. All right. So this one is probably going to be the Garber pack because we got an insect and a squirrel. So we got all the pests, all the pests of all time. Start with the slag, woods, bridge, cabal, initiate, mental journey. Dude, I'm going on a mental journey right now. Chrome courier. Hmm. I'm going on a mental journey. Wren's Run Hydra with Reinforce. That's some casual things. Zurin Orb, kind of neat. All right. Don't really hate the Zurin Orb. All right. Swamp, of course. Ooh, with a stinker. Brea's Apprentice. I wish if this was like a two mana two one or something. Maybe it's too good then. I don't know. I don't think it would be. But I'd definitely be more into it if it was a two mana two one. All right, so we got our uncommon freaking dermo taxi where's the uncommon go dude whatever dermo taxi sketch neato goblin archaeo commancers all right tribute mage is pretty nice tribute mage is pretty cool i can get behind that i can get behind tribute mage with this over why is the thopter like hanging out get out of here um he's a cool guy he's a cool guy for sure Bone shards. I mean, never going to be worth anything, but it's a good card. Ooh, Archmage's Charm. Old Border. Etched, I believe. It, I believe it's etched. That's that's nice. And a diamond freaking lion, bro. Freaking diamond lion, bro. Someone's going to do something dumb with that card. and It's going to be worth money one day in like 2035 or something, you know? In like 2035 dude so i'm gonna do something with it they go oh if you have if you have all the diamond lions and all the all the lion's eye diamonds and play at the same time you win the game it's like oh my god it's gonna be like i'd i'd lion diamond or something they're gonna have a third one in the cycle and it's gonna break them all you just watch dude you just you just wait all right you just wait this one here though man i can't i can't i can't i can't not get behind that you know all right tribute mage goes enough sleeve too I mean, three mana, three mana. I don't know. Enough graveyard interaction synergy or something with he is a creature. So, you know, there's going to be something that's like, oh, dude, remove three things from your graveyard. Revive, uh, bring a creature from your battlefield out. Give it haste. And you're just like, okay. You're just infinite with it or something. That's all it'll take. That's all it'll take, dude. Beast. Food. Well, I mean, he was a beast. Now he's, now he's dessert. The kitchen imp art, dude. I can't even. That art is too good. All right. Good whiff shifter guy. This guy's going to be pretty pog, too. And make you see EDH. EDH in certain decks. Just a coin flip deck. Just get in there. Lane Blitz. If you really hate walkers, that's what you can do there. All right. Oh, the chef's kiss. That's what it is right now. It's a chef pooper. Chef pooper, dude. Faithless salvaging out here for the why is it in my pack? Why are you okay? Thank you. Dress down, cool card. Probably won't see play outside of maybe certain EDH metas, is my guess. Galvanic relay. Someone will do something dumb with this card eventually. Generous gifts is pretty cool. I can get behind generous gifts. That's pretty cool. For sure. Um, soul herder again, bro. Why are you hurting all my souls? Vindicate etched. All right. All right. Now we're playing with power. All right. Boy, what the hell? Old border foil. Not etched. Foil for sure. Full art extended coffers, my guy. Holy poop, dude. Runner keen runner, dude. Runner runner. Oh my god. Why why would you not buy collector's box if you're gonna buy product now? I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, I know, dude. That's crazy. Well, outside of... Uh, there's some other ones, right? Like, you can get Force Negation. Um, and Ur Force Negation and Urza... What, what is the coffers at? Because Force Negation and Urza are like 250, 300, something like that. 
in the retro, the retro ones. Start off with a chef kiss, dude. We knew what was up. How much is that worth? I'm not sure. Um, I thought it was like, is it, is it nine? I thought it was 90. Is 90 for the non-foil one? If it's, if it's for the foil one, then they had, uh, or if that's for the normal one, then yeah, the foil one's worth way more. Back to birds. Got some treasure. All right. Is this going to be the one? Let's see. The bridge, the initiate, the mental journey again. We got these in a row last time. Literally the same thing. Three in a row the last time. Right? I'm I'm pretty sure. Let's look for the bridge. Bridge, initiate, mental journey. What the heck, wizards? Retro full fetches, if I get any of them, I'm just going to hold on to them for like years. They'll go up. They'll crash. They'll crash. And then they'll start going up again in like, I don't know, I guess like September, October. That's strange. All right. So we got Fatal or oh, Fat Fast and Furious. Wow. You you guys are wizards. Hey, Tireless Provisioner. Good card. Um, You know, just make Lotus Cobra cost one more mana, but let the mana uh kind of sit around for forever. Nice. Is land. Got board is full art borderless for all whatever whatever the damn whatever this is i don't even know we got damn though hot damn late dinner get this beast out of here you did well though beast you did well at the late to the dinner all right late to dinner again but it's the 19th time our kind of cruelty okay dude i've got this all messed up oh no i don't so cool card maybe reanimator modern if that ever becomes a thing that's about it though Dude, oh my god, dude. I love this art, dude. This guy is my mascot. This guy is my mascot, bro. I love him. Not worth anything, but I love him. He's my mascot. I right, got the nested shambler guy. Terminal agony. Why couldn't you just make it terminate instead, you know? But you do you do you, wizards. You do you. Terminal agony out here. Well, oh, goblin engineer. Goblin Engineer, that is cool. I don't think he's worth a whole bunch. Maybe in this form a million years from now. And then... That's Pog, dude. Uh, I bought I bought four, but I only have two of them on me right now. The other two are coming tomorrow. This is the first time I've bought in product in like sealed product in literally like 10 to 12 years it's just because the value in this stuff is just way dumb like it's a it's a lot of money up front but you'll make it all back even if it's not like right right away now i got in earlier though so i got mine for like 300 not 440 or something stupid that they are right now which that is a whole different thing i don't i don't even think i would have gotten in at that price no way that's like an extra box i could have i could have gotten you know all right get to me this damn zorn orb kind of hot too you know excuse the the light sleeving here but you know how we do you know how we do there's a promo mark what the what has the promo mark? The, en the engineer? I'm confused. That's an ignoble. And that's a foil. I can't tell. All right. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> kitchen Imp? Dude, maybe. Maybe I'll change my own name to Kitchen Imp. I might be a Kitchen Imp, dude. I'm a so this is my favorite token art of all time. I love this token art. Timeless Witness. This token art is freaking sweet. And then, of course, there's a squirrel in the back at the bottom yeah it's uh, i think it's because it's from it's a modern horizons one card you about the 16 out of 40 yeah it's because it's one of the modern horizons uh one cards i think all right got marble gargoyle in normal mode actually looks kind of good crack oak have been modern saucer Battle plan. All right. I'm not a part of any of these plans. Legion Vanguard. Uh, I wish it didn't cost mana. You know, batter bone instead of batter skull. We got it, wizards. You're jokesters. I gotcha. You're a big jokester, aren't you? Karth the lion. 
I just, I guess if you're making like a Jund, no, you can't make Jund. Oh, I guess he could be in a Jund deck. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Some EDH card. Ooh, Counterspell. That looks kind of cool. Actually, it's not foil or anything. The foil ones are like 50, 60 bucks right now. What do I play in modern? I don't really play modern either. I play like, I play EDH. I play EDH, bro. Um, Conquistador Vampers. Ooh, Bone Shards. That's another good card. Scale up. Has anyone ever played this card? Like, I don't, oh, it's a sword. No one's played. Boy. That's, that's nice. That's nice. We like, we take those. And Ave. All right, Ave. I'm going to, dude, I'm going to put, I'm going to put this in a sleeve. I'm going to leave Ave out of a sleeve. All right. About ready to throw you away, Ave. Oh, yeah. In fact, in fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. It being a sore streak, man, if it was a, if it was an instant, if it was an instant. What is that? Like three of the MH1 cards we've gotten already? That's pretty wild, honestly. Well, I guess we're, that was just over halfway through. So that makes sense. I'll say it makes sense. Does it actually make sense? I don't know. The old school borders are they're the best. They're, dude, they're so good for us old fogies, man. Everyone else is like, dude, I just started playing Magic. Why do these cards look so weird? Why, why don't they have the, the robot boxes? What ha what's happening here? All right. Big Thopter. Thopter Clue. Thopter Clue. So, probably not the best pack, but Piercing Rays, the Cobra. Oh, dude, no. Never never good. Never good. Uh, the Thopter of the Paradise, man. Will it ever be worth anything? Who knows? Uh, Elsworn Phoenix, very expensive. But it's got, oh, dude, if this guy came into play, he'd be better, but he doesn't, so he's not. That's how we, uh, that's how we settle that. So Swamp, all right. I'm so bad at like, Soul Talisman. I don't really see, a, I don't, I don't see a future for this card, to be honest with you. I don't see one. Hermit or dude, big Hermit, gotcha. Obsidian Chain Mall, AKA, um, very good card. I don't think it'll ever go up to a bajillion dollars. Universal This good card too. But another sideboard card. Big chitter chatter storm. Alright. Oh, sorry. Big chitter chatter storm. Etched recruiter. Coming in. Cool. Been reprinted for the 90th time. Hey man, still gonna be worth something. And then are you fucking kidding me? Urza High Lord Artificer. That paid for the whole box on its own. The whole box on its own. Damn, dude. That's that Thopter for you, dude. Holy shit. Kenobis. Wow. Wow. That's crazy, boys. That's the most expensive card in the set. Holy shit. I think it is more expensive than horse. He's he's in this set, but only in collector boxes. There's I think it's there's 40 cards from MH2 or uh, from MH1, Mind Horizons 1 that you can get, but you can only get them in collector boxes. And when you get them, they come as old border. So it's old. So you, you're guaranteed to get if you get Urza in old border and then he's either foil or fetch. And I do believe that this is the foil one. But I'm very bad at telling the difference between the two. Show everyone, dude. I'm selling it. Oh, we oh we cursed this pack. We didn't look at the we didn't look at the token. Oh, this token has I don't know if you can see it. Been fucking hit by the the folder machine, bro. The rollers came after it. Thanks, bro. The treasure's kind of good though. Crab not so much. All right. Yeah, that's why he's demanding such a high price. That's cool. That's a good card. I think this old, this is, I like this too for EDH. Heck yeah. Uh, planes seems good. That, dude, this was, this one. All right, dude, we were, we're running with the uncommons in this one. All right. All right, Floodhound. I, dude, all we get is Floodhound. I 
Okay. Okay. All right. And they won't stop coming and they can't stop coming and they won't stop coming and they won't stop coming and they won't stop. Dude, what the f is with this box? I was sent a hack box. Oh, yes. I will take another liquid metal torque. Thanks. What the fuck, bro? Oh my God. All right. Flame Chong Kabu Yearling guy. Talisman, dude, we've gotten nice uncommons in this. Oh, the timeless dragon. Feels bad. Although, it is kind of cool. They have the tombstone up there. Um, which what you which was used to be for like uh what flashback? Like this card to be cast at the graveyard. So I think this is the first eternalized card that's the little tombstone on it, which is kind of cool. It's a little cool. Another full art foil vindicate, bro. Yes. And then our crab boy in a Zern orb. Oh, the Zern orb was on the ground. This, that wasn't in the box, I don't think. Let's see if there's a Zern orb over here. I did buy a lottery ticket. It was called a Modern Horizons 2 booster box. That was my lottery ticket. Now, to know, we've only gotten one fetch. We didn't get a single borderless fetch at all. But, I mean, Urza's kind of made up for that. Um, we'll go over everything we got in this box real quick in a, in a hot minute. We care about this. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, and we still have, we have three packs left, so three packs left. All right. And then we got all the other not bangers, but it's still kind of good cards. We got like Doc Han. Doc Han. We got Doc Han. All right. Fly me home, dude. Bird. Squirrel. All right. Bird squirrel. Oh, piercing rays. Ju Wait, this is this is the other pack we just we opened this up. These four in a row were before. Very strange. Necromancer's familiar. Steal a removal. At uncommon. You ship that up, huh? Come on, Warzers of the Coast. Out of time. I don't think this will ever be an expensive card. I just don't think it will. The good old Rav squirrel. Esper Sentinel. Dude, all right. All right. Yeah, the, the fetches are low. I want the old border foil ones, and I'm just going to hold on to them for years until, like, Modern Horizons 3 starts coming on little song. Word weary. Is this common? Yeah. Milliken. What a weird art for a Milliken. Chainer. Pooper box, bro. Can, can I get a new pack? Can I get my pack back? Can I get a new pack, please? What is this? What? <laughs> can, can I... <sighs> exactly. Yeah, you hold on to them, and then right before they reprint them, you dump them out for like $300. Or, you, or they choose not to do the old border thing again and they're the only ones that match the onslaught ones i can't believe i got two cha fucking chainer dude one of the worst cards in the whole set frixian germ that's what i feel like right now after that pack i am a frixian germ all right nest shambler hard evidence that's a pretty cool card the bridge breaking ties none of these cards really matter all that much ghost lit drifter gorilla shaman hey gorilla shaman what's up buddy I'll put you down there. We did get an Asper Sentinel in that pack, so it's not all not all is lost, right? Not all is lost. Got Zabababab, -bab -bab -bab, the G the Gleamer Wasp, normal Gargadon, not the lesser one, not the not the greater one, just the normal Chad Gargadon. All right, the normal Chad version. Sit this, cool card, cool card. Will it resurrect Enchantress in Modern All on its own? Well, uh, we don't know. Fantastical Dreadmall certainly won't though. Uh, certainly won't. All right, got the uh, Archaeo Nickel Mancer guy. Skills. All right, but do we have the skills? I did have to make up for the Urza. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Karmic Guide. I wonder if this will do anything in modern. Unearth Kiki Jiki Karmic Guide. I mean, I guess the Unearth Kiki Jiki 
combos in modern now? Not unearth. Buried alive. Oh, you need a res spell. You don't have a res spell to res Kikijiki out. Or Karmic Guide, I think. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can persist Karmic Guide back in. Grab Kikijiki. Tap Kikijiki. Make a copy of Karmic Guide. Have the copy come back in. Get Felidar Sovereign. Have Felidar Sovereign come back in, and you're good to go. So you can do, like, the CEDH combo in modern now. Cool. Another Zabaraz guy. We Zabarazin. Etch? Oh, uh, yeah, that was an Etch Karma guy. For sure, Zeus. That was an Etch boy. All right. Just one pack here. Got some hits. Didn't get didn't get a land, though. Didn't get a land. Yeah, because I was thinking, oh, you can't persist Kikijiki, but you don't do that anyway. You persist her. Neato. I mean, that's... What is that? I guess it's a five mana combo that just kills out of nowhere. That's kind of cool. Haven't seen anyone try it. Probably because you have to play with a lot of expensive cards in your deck. Dude, this one's hard to open. All right. Is it beast food? Beast food was the thing. That was the play. No, it's a beast treasure. Beast Treasure. Founder Helix. Cool card. Cool card. Not gonna not gonna be a mover. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this an uncommon? Oh no, it's oh no. That's common. Junk winder. Hmm. Yeah. Affinity for tokens. Like, okay, bro. Alright, here it comes. Mm -hmm. Nettle Cyst. Hey dude. Modern mover, man. Affinity's coming back. Look out for the nettle cyst, alright? Jade Avenger, Chub Toad at the door. Thrasta, full art, could barely get that mana symbol in there. Oh, you can't see. Could barely get that mana symbol in there. Looking a little strange out there. Hey, dude, we take these soul, these talismans in a uh, bad foil edge? I don't know. That looks like edge. Blacksmith skills to go with the other blacksmith skill. Noble Squirrel Sovereign guy. A little uncommon there. Baby Boomer. Okay. Yavamaya. We could we'll take it. We take the old border uh etched Yavamaya. Mm-hmm. And freaking Ayula, dude. I'm a Ayula you, bro. So we didn't get a we didn't get a, a land in that. We didn't get an OB uh fetch land. Very very weird. I guess the average is 1.5, and so we skewed a down so maybe we'll get two in the next box i'm not sure but i can't really complain um that was power we have another one to open up here right now though um i'm just gonna arrange this and then um just kind of sleeving up random stuff is there anything in here i want sleeved up so like the chaff stuff so this is kind of good i don't know if the boss is gonna go anywhere dock hand is good counter spell is good and then this other stuff. This might be something one day if someone ever makes that deck work. And then... Woo! All right. So there's some uncommons in here that whatever. So big girl. Nice boy. Uh, definitely not these. This is probably going to be worth something someday. Okay. So then we got the Churza High Lord Artificer in actual foil. And then an Atch Recruiter. Very nice. Churz out here paying for the box. Like all good Churzes do. Uh, Talisman. Which is nice. Vindicate. Ragavan. Timeless Witness Token. Uh, Ayiva. Oh, yeah. Plague Engineers in here. Ignoble Hierarch. Uh, Goblin Engineer. Oh, yeah. The Cabal. Ca no, this box was a fucking banger, dude. This box was a banger. Another Vindicate. Tribute Mage is kind of something. Diamond Line and 20. Oh, yeah. We got the Arc Mage's Charm as well. Solitude, Urza Saga, the, the one fetch in the whole box. Uh, Tireless Provision Air. Uh, damn. Oh, yeah. Dude, we got the Void Walker. I forgot, bro. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Then we got the, the Dockade. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, can you really complain? Hell no, you don't, dude. That box was that box was wild. That box was wild. I don't know if we can beat this box, man. I don't know if we can beat this box. Alright, let's tidy up here. Tidy up. Send all the kids home. 
go put this on my back desk and then we'll do the other one Fucking so crazy bro urza coming in even without urza that was a pretty knockout stand-up box and then urza said hey hey you want some real money here you go boy here you go boy no that was a powerful box holy poop nuggets bro that was power real power dude i hope you'll get lucky too man all right all right well that's damn hot damn all right sorry <clears throat> so let's uh pop this up cabal and urza yeah 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 cabal and urza and then you got some other stuff that you just that that's nice stuff and there's some stuff that i'm gonna spec on a little bit oh i don't need to turn the music back on yeah where's my uh where's my extractor device here hold a pen got it paid for a cute a draft a cube with mixed and draft boxes hoping to do well dude i hope you do too man i hope you do too the cool thing is like i think only rare foils come in the non-collector stuff which is kind of interesting and then i'll have two more of these tomorrow which oh boy all right six packs yeah six packs yep all right move it on move it on over dude let's start out with just for luck timeless witness this time all right timeless witness this time i mean can you get better art on a token i don't think you can i don't think it's possible i don't think it's possible so we got the Thopter Clue. Ooh, Thopter Clue. That's when we got Urza. All right. Chrome Courier, Piercing Rays, Jewel Die Cobra. Um, so this, this, these three definitely come in a row. This is part of the end of one of the other commons. Huh. I wonder if the rares and the bonuses are like that too. Uh, so we got Fey Offering. I kind of like this card, but I don't know. I don't know what this card will do. I don't know. I feel like this card will do something one day. Is there like a card you can just infinitely recur and discard for like no mana? Just mill everyone? There's gotta be something, right? There's gotta be some Rue Goldberg machine combo out there. Academy Manufacturer. Or Manufacturer. I don't know how I feel about this one either. I did see someone make me like 50 tokens yesterday for some reason. And an Asmorano Marty could dice in a cold car. Cooper uh deck. Dermo Taxi coming in for the other hit. I'm not I'm not sorting these right now. I do like this etch a lot on this squirrel. I don't know anything about the card though. Ooh, we got the old Vidalkin Ninja. Looking a little looking a little stanky out there. Neato. Scale up. Alright. Scaling up. Freaking literal worst card in the set as a rare. I don't think the Lotus tokens exist. Uh, actual wonder. Wonder why I got that. Oh, pooper box, bro. Calibrated blast. Freaking yikes. This timeless witness token did not do it for us. No way, no sir, no how. All right, moving on. Yikes, bro. That box was a stinker. An absolute stinker. Or pack, not box. Hopefully not the whole box. Crab here. Common thing with the crabs, they get roller pressed, apparently. Amazing. Treasure Crab. Stab through. Gargadon. Words. Tracker. Another Fey Offering. Is it followed by Mystic Redaction? No. Oh, Prismatic Ending. That's a good card. Best card I've opened from this box already. Nice. Nice little foiling guy. Cool. Mountain. Sanctifier and Vec. I think, I think this card's a little bit better than what... People are trashing on her. I think she's a little bit better than people think. Honestly. Um, Dreadmaw. What is, did I even know what I, I, I what did I do with this? Oh, this is this is just random rares. All right, cool, got him. Sweet, Dreadmaw. That's uncommon. This is common. Search the premises. Stinker card. IMO. Hey, dude, the mask guy. He had to show up. He had to show up. Right. He had to show up. It's just his. It's just his thing. Lanamore True T Ribe. Chitter Chatter Storm. Freaking timeless dragon. An inevitable betrayal. Kind of poopers here. Kind of poopers here so far. 
We kind of need we kind of need some swingers, bro. We need some swingers in this set here. Birdie, squirrel. All right, cool. Hard evidence, some stuff. Neato. Abundant harvest. Quarian ranger. That's that's a good uncommon. That's a good uncommon. Scourge familiar. That's fine. Nothing like super crazy. I don't even know. Necro goif. Narco goif, dude. Narco goif. You go up here. You go down here. Late to dinner. That's me. That's me every day. No, listen. You go over here. Mistress Factory. Man, I'm sorry that I pulled that card. Nasted Shambler. Curse that and dude, we got we it cursed us for sure. Um, we definitely got cursed by it. Abundant harvest is pretty cool. Okay, I can get behind this. I can get behind abundant harvest here. Um for the nice little sly common. Talisman as well. Pretty okay there. Pretty okay there. Another presence. I can get behind that and my music turned off. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> yep, I am still watching. Thank you so much. Can I click on the yes button? Yes? You're amazing. You're so amazing. All right. I do like this guy. So he's popping off. We find in squirrels, apparently. I don't know how hot this is right now, but I don't think it's gonna hold for long. All right. So no true bangers right now. Instant milk. Oh, there it is. He found the Rue Goldberg machine. All right, so the germ didn't do me any favors and it's got the roller on it too. Germ food. Oh, that sounds like a dangerous combination. All right, some, uh, some stuff here. Neato. We're in Ranger, hey. When the best thing you pull in your box is freaking uncommons, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. The $400 land. Hey, Calibrated Blast. Get on out of here, bro. I don't want to see you or hear from you like ever again. All right. I don't want to see or hear from you ever again. Um, let me reorganize this real quick. I got shit everywhere. That makes no sense. This is uncommons that I want to put somewhere. This is a freaking token. Um, this is trash. Rares. This is some uncommon stuff. That's kind of cool. Neato Petito. This is foily stuff. This is foily stuff. Sweet. Got it. Awesome. We did it. We figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. We figured it out. Where'd I put the cards? All right. Recalibrated Blast. Timeless Witness in the sketch. Hmm. Interesting. Taking a dump. Taking that big dump. Ooh, Dihada, dude. I do like this art. I like this is one of my favorite sketches. I don't think this card's gonna go anywhere though. I think no, I know where it's gonna go. It's gonna go right into the right into the floor. Uh Ornithopter of the Paradise. Another ravenous squirrel, man. A big millikin. All right. For the one, two. Double, triple, quadruple millikins. All right. Where are my uncommons at? Oh, up here. Hearth the lion, old border etch. Someone will someone will want him, I'm sure. In a in a foil sketch esper sentinel all right all right doing better doing better doing better let me uh put these in there all right esper sentinel kind of coming through that was a pretty good pack that's a pretty good pack all things considered that's a pretty good pack dude i wish uh dehida like gave you protection from from permanence with uh corruption counters too that way they can attack you or her Maybe it would be a little, little busted that way, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Beast is always safe, dude. Beast can't get the, the thing, man. Beast treasure. Ooh, that's a spicy one. Open up with the bridge. All right. A little floodhound action. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Squirrel sovereign. Neato. Squirrel, squirrel master race. Sanctum Weaver. That's a cool card. Abundant harvest out here again. Um, where's the Oops, I put you in the wrong pass, bro. Moderation. You know what? Not happening. All right, not happening for me. Glimmer Baron. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, Mr. Glimmer Baron. I don't have a Ooh, Soul Snare's kind of cool. I don't know if it'll go anywhere. But it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Got the skills of the blacksmith. Karma Guide coming back in again. Jaya's Will. And that's it. Big old Jaya's Will, dude. 
falling down every day. This box has been pretty um bad so far. Won't lie. Last one was a banger though. This one, not so much. Not so much. And we haven't gotten a fetch yet, which kind of kind of scares me, honestly, because we only got one fetch in the previous box. We haven't gotten any in this one, which is a little wild. All right. Oh, no. We'll go straight into it with the softer. The softer got the... No. Big old softer squirrel. All right. Gouge Zealot. The card that you don't even want to draft. Boundary Breaker. I feel like we got that in one of the first packs. All right. Good old Resurgent Belief. Put you over here. Faceless Salvaging. Hey, Recruiter. Recruiter. All right. Just uh, chilling. Just kind of chilling there. Recruiting. Got the infiltrator guy. Shambler boy. Squirrel sovereign. Ooh, that's pretty that's pretty nice. I think that's etched. I believe that is an etched OB dam. That's pretty nice. <laughs> and a foil OB gay as well. Bro, I have I have everyone's gay as wills. I literally have everyone's gay as wills, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this box alone. How many gay as wills did we open? It feels like 10, but it's probably like two. Okay, it is only two. It's, so, it's only two. I felt like we opened 20 of them already in this box. But we did open some in the other box, but... Little wilds, little wild. All right, get this recruiter action. That was a pretty okay pack. We got, what do we get? Recruiter in the dam? Yeah, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. So, and in the last half of this box here, we need some runner runners. Runner runner, dude. Or a no chicken dinner for me tonight, dude. I'm gonna have to get some, uh, but every crab. This one's not as predominant, but you can see it's still right there. Crab squirrel. That's dangerous. Smell fear. Dude, I'm smelling fear right now, actually. I'm smelling a little bit of fear. Ooh, that's a cool card. I might keep that card. Graceful Restoration. That's a draft card. Is land. Is my land. Hey, there's a there's a tarn. There's a little tarny boy. All right, just chilling. Just full art. Just chilling, normal tarn. This card is cool. I don't know who plays it, but that card is dope. Magus of the Bridge. Not feeling it. Not feeling the Magus of the Bridge action out here. Rootwalla, that's a cool guy. It's a cool little guy. Lens Flare. Galvanic Relay. A Territorial Kavu. I think this is a sleeper. I think people are sleeping on the Domain deck. You get Tribal Flames, you get Territorial Kavu. You have, uh, what is that other, the removal spell? Prismatic Ending. You can do some cool stuff with it. Oh, you get the dragon guy. Get some nice stuff in there. Giver of runes. OB. Foil? It is foil. It's been a long time since I've seen the OB. The actual OB foil looking stuff. Not the worst pack of all time. And we got a, and we got a tarn? All right. Yeah, this guy's very cheap right now. And one of the cards I'm just going to just keep. I'm just going to keep and hold on to it. Um, two mana for a five, five on turn two. I mean, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty pog. Give him some trample and some first strike. You can discard a card and draw a card. You can graveyard hate with him. Yeah, he's a cool boy. He's a cool boy. All right. Don't let me down, Thopter. They're a Thopter clue. All right. Don't let me down, Thopter clue. Don't let me down. Witness is cool, like like always. Blessed Respite. Turbo Fog, maybe? I don't know. The, the $4 million plane's coming in. Zabababaz. It's Zabababaz. Lens Flare. Thought Monitor. Card that's going up. Etchings of the Chosen. What an interesting card to put in here. Bone Shards coming in. What a good card. L Mr. Elder. Mr. Elder. Solitary confinement. I don't know how much this will ever go up. I don't think it ever will. 
and glimpse glimpse of tomorrow rounding out that pack and uh well cards gonna be worth nothing or it's gonna be part of some broken combo somewhere um my bets are probably uh nothing <laughs> at this moment but you know we can find out we'll find out all right all right four packs remaining i'm i'm scared bro i'm scared that we about to get damned if you know what i mean scary times scary times it all takes is one all it takes is one. Oh, we didn't do good with the insect pack dude the insect squirrel pack nah dude we got we got booted last time absolute booty bombed boon gloves artifact landwalk i thought they said they weren't gonna do landwalk anymore another whatever hey grave that's a cool card that's a cool card its value depends on if that is ever gonna be an archetype um but hey yeah it's a good card cryptozoologist hey good old archaeo no 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 my answer dude that he's here he's here again the kitchen the kitchen fimp dude he's here he never goes away he's always here got the cleansing hey shardless agent all right at shardless agent cool cool there they are we found and it's a foil it's not an etch it's an actual foil catacombs look at that heck yeah found one found one johnny we found one and that puts the relief off of me off this box so i'll just sit on that for years to come for years to come Bum, 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 bum. that's what we're those are the hits that we need those are the hits that we need dude can we get another one <laughs> a little green monster to me says hey can we do it again can we do that again i want to go for a ride i want to get that again i want to go for a big ride charlotte's agent's pretty cool too man um it's pretty it's pretty cool man i do indeed like the shardless agents i do indeed beast all right beaster beaster food hey the urban dagger tooth man don't let them don't let them tell you my collapse is kind of cool actually um the restoration captain ripley believe it or not exists a blood braid bro little blood blade little bro bro all right i'm weary as well my guy i am hey solitude again very nice might end up being the most expensive out of all of them in the long term uh archaeus accolade and the uh, foil blaze and root walla love to see it love to see it bone shards Ooh, yeah I, cause like i've been saying i think people are sleeping on her a little bit i think she i think she's getting slept on because they compare it to dothy and they're like oh my god she doesn't just remove everything she only does black and red but she's got pro black and red that is a that's a nice little cut there Ooh, that's a nice pack civil of sea and sky foil full art that's what i'm talking about yeah, that's a nice pack there. Civilin, Sanctifier Unvac, Solitude, little Root Walla action here, the OB, OB Root Walla foil. Yes, sir. Doesn't that just take you back to the day? This little guy right here. Takes me back, baby. Takes me back. Takes me back. Do you forget another Urza, dude? I'm. I'm going to Disney World, like for real. This, this card goes somewhere else. You go somewhere else. You go like over here. You go over there. All right. Two packs remain. Um, all of the value in this box was opened in those two packs that we just that we just did back to back, with the catacombs and the solitude and the sanctifier and the sevaloon. All right, this one's being a little asshole to open, dude. Come here. Come here, you punk. All right. Got him. A little birdie. And the treasure. All right. We do the treasure side. Parcel Mer. Nah. Nah, no one cares, Mr. Parcel Mer. Ooh, okay. It's not the full art counterspell, but it's still counterspell. 
Play Essence. Eh. Eh. Chitter Spitter, he says. He says, Chitter Spitter. Not a mover, not a shaker. Mystic Redaction, once again, coming in, trying to be relevant. Dress Down coming in again, trying to be relevant. Mr. Tribe here. Ornithopter Paradise. <laughs> of course. The Soul Herder card, dude. It won't leave me alone, man. I also don't know why it's worth a couple bucks. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Another Civiloon of Sea and Sky. This time, Old Border Etch. Bro, I be I'm believing right now. Ooh. In a Turok. Foil OB. Not worth a whole bunch right now. Not being seen played, but he's got he's got potential. If someone has potential in MH2, it's definitely that's a double mythic, double old border pack. That's that's pretty nice right there. That's that's something that you gotta believe in for sure. Alright, last pack of the day. Oh also, who is who is on this pack? That, look, that looks like an Ikoria monster. There's no art in this set that has this on it, right? Like, who is this? Is it like part of Gaia or something? Or not, uh, not Gaia. Like, who, like, who is this? Some, it's some deer looking thing. All right, no, dude, I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good about this one. You wanna know why? Ain't even flipping it over. We got the girl. We got a timeless witness. She's here to tell the test of time. She's keeping us ready to rock and roll. And we're cracking open the final pack of the day. We got a battle plan. We got the Sky Blades Booner. Another freaking counter spell. All right, got the planes. Not the nine million dollar planes. It's okay. Master of Death. Full art. Not doing a whole lot. Normal Gargadon. Just chilling. Boy. Is that Gaia OR or Yavimaya or whatever? Or what's her face? Dude, just normal full art? We take it, dude. We take, we take, we win here. We take those. Got a lens flare, can't see past the coffers. Our KO Mancer, ready to rock and roll. Terminal Agony, dude, this was me right here, opening up the box until we got to these last three packs. That was me, dude, the whole time. You just couldn't see it, all right? You just couldn't see it. Oh, shit. Uh, OB etched plague engineer one of the mh1 reprint collector box only you, you you love it you gotta love it and then a and then a full art foil factory but hey man we got the plague engine the plague engineer cabal coffers in the same thing that's a little wild bro that's a little wild that's a little wild yeah that's we came back we came back dude i'm not putting you in there um let's let's talk about what ah! So this pack, in essence, um, it was definitely weaker than the first one for sure. I mean, we didn't get Urza, go figure. Um, but we got some nice stuff here. So we got saved. We got saved hard, like in the last four packs, just saved it because the first ones were all trash. So we got uh, Civil Loon Foil, Full Art, Normal Solitude. Uh, Root Wall is not. Root Wall might be worth like 10 bucks one day. Uh, etched OB, Sanctifier. I think people are sleeping on it. Also, just me or... Wait, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Some of these cards are fucked up. Look. All right, so here's Turok, right? See how much distance there is between the name and the top and the tip of the card? Look at this fucking Plague Engineer. I don't know if you can get it right, but it's definitely not the same. It's off by a little bit. And Turok is off-centered on the bottom compared to the Plague Engineer. Like, what? That's so strange. Same thing for the Sanctifier. He matches the Plague Engineer. But they don't match... They don't match Turok. I know, too much light. I'm sorry. But you can see it right there. But look how fucking thick these ones are. Compared to, like, Turok. Huh. All right. So, Sanctifier, Plague Engineer, Turok, Solitude, Civilum, fucking factory, get out of here. Normal, normal full art coffers. Civilum, OB, Foily, 
or etched inverted cat ob foil then charlotte station was pretty cool and then we got you know some some nice oh we got a scalding turn that's pretty neat and then i'm sleeping on everyone sleeping on me territory kavu giver of runes pretty cool imperial recruiter 75 different kind of gay as well oh we got the ob damn as well uh sanctum weaver kind of cool and then some other stuff oh we got the foil uh sentinel as well so all in all yeah pretty good pretty good pretty good and then you know other random stuff so that's pretty cool man yeah we definitely cracked back and uh you know made our money back and and, and then some for shirzies uh just on the land alone the land alone i can just sit on that for forever and, and get my money back on that on its own um so normal old border coffers is 80 what's the what's the not old border full art so full art non-foil coffers is 80 what the hell is a foil one worth because that other box is ridiculous that other box is ridiculous land has value which one it's on that's crazy yeah because that other box is crazy it was urza foil old border cabal coffers everything a ragavan friggin everything in the in the entire sun bro this one we opened like like wonder wonder calibrate a blast bro like what what are you talking about what are you talking about but all right that's cool i'll get my two other ones tomorrow and we'll we'll, we'll play the we'll play the game again oh the, the yeah 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 the, this land this old border fetch land right so it's a fetch land so originally these ones are the enemy fetch lands and they only came in like the new style art which i can't even show you kind of like this right like all this boxy art they've changed it up so these ones are the only enemy fetch lands that come in ob and you can get them foil like this and so prices of these are gonna i mean like what is this like 70 80 bucks right now they're gonna go down until like november but after after you know they are becoming more scarce or so when they start becoming more scarce they're just gonna go on up who's my favorite waifu eula eula or Ganyu. i'm like noel and then like crowd characters apparently that's cool I had big fears that I was going to open duds, bro. But, and we were opening duds, but we hit that one at the end, dude. We were good to go. I mean, how much do you think? Uh, I'd have to go through here. Like, I'm I'm sitting on this. I'm sitting on this. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got these. I'm sitting on this and this. Probably get rid of that. This. I don't know how I feel about just OB coffers, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here, man. I don't think this will ever get broken. Like gay as well. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Unless there's just some red green like weirdo deck eventually. But yeah, that was that was good. Ooh, look, yeah, dude. Non-foil catacombs is 40 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the foil one's like 70, 80 or something right now if you look for it. Um, we yeah, have formats. It also kind of depends on like how popular modern actually becomes. Like modern can, if it's not a popular format after the changes to the format because of the set, then like the cards, like the modern staple cards that are in here, will fall out of value. Um, but that, I mean, that's to be determined. Plus, you know, a uh, paper magic is still fighting for its life, coming back. You know, paper magic still fighting for its life. So you know, you got a format trying to get revived in a game that's trying to get revived at the same time, you know? So that's another thing to think about as well. Um, I don't know why this card is worth something. I don't understand. Like whenever creatures exiled from a battlefield, put a plus plus one on a soul herder, you may exile to another creature card you control in return. Just cause it's like a blink in EDH or something, I guess. Is that why? Uh, Evan, we, uh, we did really, really well. We did really well, man. It was good times galore. All right, so remember, um, we are gonna try to do a like account review thing, see how it goes on Genshin. 
Um, I probably already have one lined up right now, but uh, after this stream ends, which is going to be real soon, I am going to make a section in the Discord, which should be, you should have a link to it down below or on any YouTube veil, uh, video. Um, join it up, this Genshin section. Come hang out with your boys, chill, talk about stuff, talk shit, whatever. Um, talk shop. And uh, I'll have a section in there for like account review. It'll just be like your name, your AR. Uh, if you're free to play, if you're a giant mega whale, if you just buy battle pass or whatever, you don't got to put your numbers in there or anything. Just be like, hi, low, none, something like that. And then what server you're on. So if you're EU or uh, global, um, CN, whatever server you're on. Um, and then I can only do P like PC and mobile stuff. So sell my cards to my followers and sign them i'd have to do like maybe like tokens or something but signing cards destroys the value unless you like are super important usually only artists after they die um but yeah that's gonna be that man thanks for coming and chilling out here for sure um i had the big camera on i don't know why let me stop oh my god there's cards everywhere where's my mouse where's my mouse I'm just trying to. All right. You gotta take care of all this stuff. Thanks for coming out, man. Hope you guys had a good time and I'll see you around in the next one. All right, boys. Also make sure that uh, you don't, I don't know. YouTube have like a thing where like everyone's getting unsubbed. So uh, double check your thing again. Sign a cover, know the card. Yeah, that's a good idea. Later guys. See ya in the next one. Peace out. I need to move my camera over.